good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel i am feeling like a whole new woman this morning i faked hand last night for the first time since before christmas i don't know why but i just really wasn't feeling the fake tan over the festive period which normally i am normally i love to be lovely and bronze beautiful and glowy but over christmas i decided to give my skin a little bit of a break and i definitely think it was worth it in the sense of like it's always good to be able to give yourself these breaks if you're like a regular fake tanner or anything like that but especially having edited the last couple of videos i feel like i looked so ghostly and so pale do you know what it's quite a funny one i always get questions about my fake tan and like how i kind of have the energy to do it so much and like is it not like a real faff and things like that and even though it is and sometimes i really really don't want to do it i'm like oh i don't have the energy but living your life online i feel like completely changes your outlook on those kinds of things over christmas i was more than happy not being fake tanned i feel like i looked fine in the mirror like i wasn't really bothered about it for some reason though on camera when i'm not fake tanned i feel like it just emphasizes the paleness and the pinkness in my skin i don't know what it is but i think it's just the way that the camera picks up the colors i find when i'm like filming when i'm shooting when i'm vlogging whenever i don't have fake tan on whenever i go back to edit i'm like whoa and i do find that i am one of those people where i'm so pale that sometimes i do get asked if i'm ill whenever i don't have fake tan on so even though it was quite nice to have a little bit of a break i'm feeling like a new woman i'm feeling fresh bronzy and glowy which i am very very happy about also washed my hair last night so it's feeling lovely and silky soft which is really really nice i am just always wanting to do a bob at the moment i have curled my hair a couple of times recently and i feel like it's just not holding the curl like it used to and i also feel like when i curl it i need to wash it more whereas when i straighten it i feel like it lasts a lot longer it looks a lot healthier and stays in place a lot better so yeah feeling really really good this morning and i actually have some very exciting news to share with you i've got something very exciting to unbox here but i thought we could chat about it a little bit more before i actually do the unboxing mainly because i have you guys to thank for this and i wanted to have a little bit of a moment just to take a step back and thank you guys for everything that you do for me all the support that you give me every like every comment every view every share honestly i would not be here if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be working with the brands that i am i wouldn't be doing this job like i am today so i just want to say a big thank you to you guys and this is especially true with what i'm about to tell you i have a very very exciting announcement and you may notice i'm completely bare in terms of my jewelry at the moment and that is because I'm going to be styling up some new pieces with you guys today. Now, you guys will know I have been a Pandora ambassador over the last six months. I've been sharing their pieces, styling them up, showing you guys what I love to wear. And you guys have been loving it as well. I was a little bit worried towards the end of those six month period that you guys were going to get maybe a little bit bored. You were going to be, I don't know, it was going to be a little bit samey, but... I'm very much a creature of habit. You guys know what I'm like. I like to wear the same clothes. I wear very similar makeup every day. I like to do my hair quite similar. Like I'm very, when I like something, I like something. And with my jewelry, Pandora has just always been my favorite, favorite brand. I just absolutely adore everything that they stand for and everything that they do. And I feel like they just create the most beautiful jewelry the most beautiful jewelry and i've actually been collecting at pandora jewelry since i was about 16 so i was starting to get a little bit worried that it was going to get a little bit same so you can start getting bored but then christmas hit and i have never had so many dms about wanting at pandora pieces for christmas presents receiving pandora pieces for christmas presents and buying pandora pieces for christmas presents for others i cannot tell you how many messages i received and how many photos on christmas day and boxing day i got from you guys showing me your pandora pieces which just makes me so so happy loads of you said that you even like sent my videos to like loved ones to your dads to your brothers to your boyfriends which honestly just melts my heart and makes me so so happy to know that you are loving the pandora pieces as much as i am so with that being said i am going to be continuing to be a pandora ambassador this year which is so 
so exciting so i have renewed my ambassadorship with pandora and we are going to be continuing to work together this year which as i said would not be possible if it wasn't for you guys and honestly it just makes me so so happy to be able to work with brands that i just organically wear so much anyway organically bought i think i told you this when i first signed the ambassadorship but actually i remember alex got really upset when i signed the pandora ambassador like contract and all of that because i used to always receive pandora jewelry from him like for birthdays for christmases i always loved receiving jewelry from him and he was like well what am i gonna buy you now <laughs> so a big thank you to him as well for adding to my collection so much before i even started working with pandora because it just really helped me fall in love with the brand i developed such a relationship with them on an organic level and loved styling up the pieces completely on my own without even working with them. So to be able to work with them in such close quarters, to be able to be an ambassador again at this year is just absolutely amazing. So I'm very, very excited to see what 2023 is going to bring with myself and Pandora. So with that being said, I have some new pieces to unbox with you guys and to show you, you know how much I love Pandora. I love their pieces. So I'm really excited to show you what's in here. I used to always shop Pandora in store and it was only when I actually started working with them that I started ordering pieces online and it made me realize how well all the pieces are packaged, how beautifully it arrives. I absolutely adore it. So we've got some bits to go through in here that i'm so so excited about okay starting with a piece that i'm wanting to add to a bit of a collection within my pandora collection it is something that i'm really enjoying adding to and feel like you can have a lot of fun with and that is the birthstone collection now, of course i've got my june ring and i also have august which is alex's birth month and i've decided it might be quite a cute idea to add a few more into my collection so this is actually the april birthstone which is my mum's birthday and it's this really gorgeous i can't remember what crystal it is but it's basically this just really clear white crystal which is so so beautiful and i thought it would be really lovely to add these all together and just kind of start stacking them up the way that they style them online actually is together like as a piece so let me add my other two how cute is that sorry about the fake tan on my knuckles it has stuck a little bit more than it normally does but oh my goodness that is just absolutely gorgeous so you can literally wear just like maybe two together you can wear all three together and i love the fact that the april one is so um like clear and just means that it will go with any of the other colors but they just stack so beautifully together and as i said the way that they style it up online is with lots of different colors and lots of different months stacked together now i know they are birthstone um like a collection but you don't have to stick to your birthstone you don't have to stick to your month but it actually might be quite cute to create a bit of a collection of all your loved ones in your family maybe if you've got kids that could be a really nice uh, push present to yourself you can get yourself a little ring like with their new birthstone on it if you've got like an anniversary you could get the birthstone of that anniversary date if you've got partners loved ones sisters brothers friends mums you could definitely look at getting the birthstones of all of the people that you love in your family and i just think that's such a cute way to kind of like commemorate everyone obviously i've got them all in the same size so that i can stack them on the same finger but you can mix and match you can put them on different fingers it's just my favorite thing with pandora jewelry to be able to stack them up all together so i just thought that was such a cute little addition into my collection now one of my favorite things about working with the other collectives and with the other ambassadors is seeing how everyone else styles up their jewelry some girls can get so creative with what they wear i feel like i'm quite basic and classic with my pieces i like to keep it fairly minimal i like to just stack them up in like a really curated way whereas some girls go all out and it's really fun to see now this next one is actually inspired it's gonna be really difficult for me to show you it's inspired by one of the other girls in the collective but it's basically technically counted as a charm but it's essentially a link adder i guess is the best way to describe it so it's like additional links that you can add to your bracelets now you guys will know one of my favorite bracelets is this pandora me bracelet it's a really gorgeous little chain what you might not know about these chains is just how customizable and how kind of like buildable they are you can add like little charms to them or what you can do which is kind of what i envisioned with these little clips is basically to add these into the chain and make it more of like a 
multi-metal bracelet. I thought that would look really cute. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but I just added the two in here and it looks really, really cute. So I might add the other two to this bracelet as well. And then it means that I've got a gold and silver bracelet because you guys know what I'm like with my metals. I love mixing metals. I feel like it's so much fun. Although that being said, I definitely think 2022 was the year that I just fell in love with silver jewelry. When I was chatting about my trend predictions at the start of the year, I did say that silver jewelry was gonna be huge. And I was definitely right because I was just obsessed with it. I saw so many girls falling back in love with like those classic silver pieces. I feel like the other metals definitely still have their place. I love mixing them with yellow gold, rose gold. Some people just suit so, so well, but silver for me is just my favorite metal at the moment. I think it's really, really fun to mix the metals together and have something a little bit more kind of like multi-dimensional, if that makes sense. So I just thought that was so, so cute. So I picked up two of those so that I can add them together into my bracelets. And again, it's just such a fun way to get a little bit experimental with your jewelry and make it a little bit more unique. Moving on to probably my favorite collection that Pandora have ever, ever done. And it's definitely the most spenny collection. This is like a real, real treat, a big, birthday present, anniversary present, the kind of thing that you are really, really spoiling someone with, but I absolutely adore them. So this is the Brilliance Collection from Pandora, which is their lab grown diamonds. I know I've chatted to you guys a lot about these, but if you're new, basically they are diamonds grown in the lab, they're not mined, which means they're so much more sustainable. It's a lot more kind of like controlled and a lot more eco-friendly. So I really, really love the whole collection and they have so many gorgeous pieces in there. They've got quite a good price range as well, going from pretty affordable with regard to diamonds to much more bougie much more spenny so i picked up a new piece from the brilliance collection that i'm so excited about so this is the brilliance bangle and how stunning is that so this is actually a real diamond in here which i just think is so so special you guys know how much i adore my bangles from pandora i just think they are so easy to wear so easy to style and i definitely felt like i was missing the brilliance bangle from my collection so i got it in silver because obviously i'm just loving silver at the moment i got it in the smallest size diamond because i just really love how like dainty and tiny they are and i love the pattern it matches perfectly with the rings which i'll show you in a minute but i just thought this was such a gorgeous one to add into my collection so this is the bangle on and just look at how beautiful that is it just sits so so nicely and start up with the ring it looks absolutely amazing i feel like it's really showing off the diamonds in both of the pieces and just match so so perfectly so i just thought that was such a gorgeous addition into my collection and of course you can style it up with the other pandora pieces you have with the more affordable bangles that's what i really really love about pandora is just the, like different price ranges that they have and i just thought this was so gorgeous so if you've got any big birthdays coming up anything really really special this would make such a gorgeous gift and then the last thing that i picked up is again from the pandora brilliance collection it's actually the brilliance ring but in gold so of course i'm loving my silver jewelry but as i said i love stacking the gold pieces with the silver i just think it's so so gorgeous and a great way to mix your metal so this is the diamond in there and i really love the pattern of the rings as well i think they're so cute and of course stacked together just looks absolutely beautiful the gold next to the silver is just so classic and so timeless i love that so so much so if you're unsure about which metal to get with the brilliance i'm afraid i can't help you because i love both i mean the silver is a little bit more affordable if that kind of changes your opinion but i love how they look i think they're so beautiful stacked together so i'm so excited about my new pieces i'm going to complete my stack now style up the rest of my jewelry for the day and i'll come back with you in a bit you know i like to keep my jewelry really simple and really paired back so we've gone no necklace and then i've just gone for my favorite little blue sapphire stars which are actually my most complimented earrings of all time i get so many questions about where these are from because they look so expensive they look like they're worth in the thousands so when i tell people they're from pandora they get very very excited so in terms of what i'm wearing so i've just done the little chain kind of individualization of this bracelet and i really really like it and then i just paired it with a gold chain beside it to really bring out the gold in the bracelet and i think it looks really really gorgeous so both of these are from the pandora me collection which are both really affordable alternatives in pandora and then at my ring i just gone for my little daisy ring which i am loving so so much i actually love first finger rings they are some of my favorite rings that i own i think they're just really 
really chic and really easy to style and then on this hand of course we've got the bangle and i'm pairing it with my favorite bangle this is probably my second most complimented piece of pandora jewelry this bangle and loads of you guys received this for christmas which absolutely makes my day it makes my day so it's a really really gorgeous like mesh wishbone kind of bangle and then i've just paired it with the um diamond bracelet and then of course we've got the two diamond rings so this hand is a little bit more we've gone for a little bit like more of a stack on this one but i've gone for the two diamond brilliance rings and then of course um i've gone for the birthstone one so i've just done june and april so that's me and my mama which i think is so so lovely so i will leave all of these pieces linked down below as well as a link to just my favorite pandora bits if you do want to shop them because i just absolutely love them and this has kind of really inspired me having all these new pieces and stuff styling up some of my favourites I was like looking around in all my jewellery boxes for my favourite pieces and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of ashamed to show you this but this is my current <laughs> collection of how I'm storing my Pandora jewellery. This is just horrendous. I've still not even cleared this out since Christmas. Um, I did it in like my um, travel one. This is actually one that you can shop from Pandora. It's a really cute little travel case. I'll leave that linked down below as well, but I've not even cleared that out. Um, this is what I keep a lot of my favourite pieces in um, and just pieces that I reach for every single day. And then of course we've got my stackers box, which I really, really like. So we've got, this is fairly organised. This isn't too bad, but I'm ashamed to say that I've not actually even filled this section yet I got this for Christmas and I really really love it but I've not even had a chance to fill it and then of course we've got the section underneath so I think I might have a little bit of a task on my hands today and just have a proper sort out of my jewellery because I feel like when it looks like this you don't want to be reaching for it it's not aesthetic it's not appealing so I like it to look pretty and I like it to be as lovely as possible to reach for. I want it to be like an experience every morning when I'm choosing what jewellery pieces to wear. So I think it's time we had a little bit of a clear out. <laughs> we can all agree that that is looking a hell of a lot better now so i'm completely cleared out my travel one and this is now my entire jewelry collection all of the pieces that i reach for that i wear that i'm absolutely loving i have an entire pandora jewelry collection which is making me very very happy seeing it all organized like this i've also emptied out this one because this can easily just be my little like um throw in the pieces that i wear on like a daily basis i'm really really loving how it looks these stackers jewelry boxes are just an absolute lifesaver so i will link them down below um but this is the top layer which i have here and i've kind of just kept this one as like my most reached for pieces so i've got my two brilliance necklaces here my two diamond necklaces i've got my two pearl necklaces because they are just my favorite 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 ones and then in the middle we've got some of my most reached for rings of course we've got the um the august birthstone my halo ring which i absolutely love they do still do this actually so i will link that down below like my little knot uh, ring which i absolutely love i think they're so cute i've got my pearl earrings and then the rest of my earrings are there that i can reach for really really easily this one i feel like looks messy but actually it's all really well organized and like everything kind of has a place now so for example i've got all of my chain necklaces here my big chunky chains i've got my gold necklaces in this one i've got some like pearl bracelets and earrings in this one this is all of my wishbone rings it made me realize just how many of these wishbone rings that i have all in different sizes in different metals this section is my blue sapphire collection so i've got a couple of rings i've got a bracelet and i've got a necklace from this collection and i absolutely love it it's one of the most complimented ones and it's perfect for like evenings anything where you want to look a little bit more dressed up um i then kept this middle one for all of my diamante bracelets so the really gorgeously sparkly ones i absolutely love these they're perfect for like styling up for an evening i've gone for my chains in this one uh, so chain bracelets chain necklaces this one is silver rings this one is gold rings this one's more like party you know like evening kind of vibes and then this is silver necklaces so i feel like it's so much better organized and really you know 
easily accessible everything now has a place i feel like that's the main point i just wanted everything to have a place um, and then this section at the bottom this is like a really deep one this is um just for basically things that don't fit in any other compartment so like my pearl necklace my pearl bracelets they're obviously a lot chunkier um so i just think they look better when they're down here obviously bangles and stuff this is my diamante one which actually looks so beautiful with the brilliance bangle that i've got on today um and then all of my snake chain bangles are at the back there so i feel like it's so much better organized and then all of these just stack up together like this which is just the handiest thing ever and it just means that everything is so much more easily accessible my entire collection is in one place and i know where everything is my goodness me that is a job that i have been meaning to do for such a long time i've been putting off and putting off and it didn't actually take all that long maybe 20 minutes to half an hour and it now means my entire jewelry collection is in one place it's really easily accessible it's really easy to like view View where everything is and everything it now has a home so i'm really really happy with that it's also made me realize just how big my pandora jewelry collection has gotten over the last year and of course it will be expanding even more as i show you the pieces that i'm going to be adding into it over the next few months as i continue to be a pandora ambassador honestly it's just my dream dream brand so i'm so so grateful to be working with them and just to say as well anything on youtube that i do with regards to the ambassador ambassadorship isn't actually a part of the ambassadorship the only kind of like things i'm contracted to do are over on instagram this is purely just because of how much i adore the brand and how much i know you guys do too so i'm really happy to have had that organized and gotten that all sorted i now have an afternoon of meetings and emails to crack on with so i'll catch you guys in a bit day now I left you a little bit in the lurch last night I had a full afternoon of meetings and organizing and admin and then after that we actually headed straight out to the cinema to go and see the new avatar film I know it came out in December but we haven't had a chance to see it yet so we went to the cinema last night to go and see it the avatar the way of the water um I'm not gonna lie though didn't really enjoy it i found myself kind of checking what time it is and checking what time the film was going to finish which is really really upsetting because the first avatar i loved i remember when it came out i think i went to go with friends to see it at the cinema like at least two three times it's one of those films that alex and i have watched time and time again because it's such a classic it was nothing like anyone had ever done it back then it was so ahead of its time it was absolutely amazing and i know that this film has literally been 10 years in the making and i feel like maybe the hype was just a little bit too much for it like i heard that apparently there was a couple of scenes that had actually been filmed 10 years ago like just after the first film had come out um like there's this military lady and there's like a few scenes with her in it and apparently the actress didn't even realize that her scenes were being used for this film like she just assumed that that was like completely archived was never going to be shown never going to get the air of day um and yeah apparently she didn't even know that she was going to be in this film until a friend of ours went to go and see it and texted her like you know you're in the new avatar right which is just hilarious that they've got clips in there from like 10 years ago um but the main problem i had with it is like it was just exactly the same storyline as last time it was beautiful it was a stunning film if you've not seen it yet i definitely would say that the cinema is the best place to see it because it is a spectacle absolutely gorgeous like the way that they animate the water and the characters it looks stunning but it was exactly the same storyline and when i say exactly i mean exactly the humans come and invade we need to escape we need to learn the way of the people we need to adopt ourselves into the way of the people humans are attacking big fight scene literally just like the main guy and the buddy left fighting it out all seems to get resolved like to a t 
and I just was a little bit upset about that. I was like, oh, I feel like they could have done so much more. They could have like added a bit more. It could have been a bit more about the people and it kind of upset me as well that they just abandoned the woody people, the tree people, and then went straight to the water people. And it was just, I don't know, I just really wasn't vibing with it. So we'll have to see when the next ones come out, how they're going to be, because apparently they're already filming them, they're already in the works, um, because the director doesn't want the Stranger Things effect, which I think is quite a funny term that we've now come up with, which basically means when the kids grow up too quickly so they don't really fit with their characters anymore um like obviously Millie Bobby Brown's now like 20 playing a 14 year old so um yeah I think they're already filming the next one so we'll have to see but let me know have you seen it what did you think am I the only one that was disappointed by it I just I feel like it just didn't live up to the hype slash was never ever going to be as good as the first one anyway but um yeah so I'm up dressed and ready for the day I feel like my hair is going a little bit flicky today and a little bit annoying me but I am um, got a really exciting day today actually I am heading out for a shoot later today which I'm really really looking forward to I'm definitely wanting to do more shoots around Hampshire and just show off the beauty of Hampshire the beauty of where I live and what we've got to offer so I'm heading to a gorgeous national trust called Mottisfant here in Hampshire which I'm really really looking forward to it's literally only like a 15 minute drive from my door and it's just so stunning so I'm going to do some really lovely like wintery shots with like my lovely Fairfax and Favour coats my boots like my fedoras I'm really really looking forward to it so I've just gone quite basic and minimal with my outfit just because these are kind of just going to be the underlayers then I'm going to like change it up with regards to what I'm wearing on top for the shoot um but I've got my new Pandora pieces on again today this brilliance ring I literally have not taken off since I've worn it and I love these two bangles stuck together so I've done the brilliance bangle with this like diamante one and do you know what i really love about pandora's i feel like these look like the same price like you wouldn't know which one was the really expensive one and which one was the more affordable one because they are both just made so so beautifully i feel like the feel you can kind of feel it a little bit but looks wise they look almost identical so i've got my pandora pieces on i've just gone for a little black roll neck today because i want my coats and my outerwear to be the main focus of the vibe that I'm going for when we go for our shoot. But until then, I've got a little bit of admin to do, a little bit of work to catch up on. So I'm going to have my morning coffee. I used up the last of my hazelnut syrup this morning. So from here on out, it's gonna be the pump now, now that I've got my syrup pump and I need to pick up a few more for the new year. So let me know what your favorite syrups are. If there's any that I should add into my collection, of course, I'm gonna be doing my favorite vanilla almond, my vanilla, my caramel, but it might be quite nice to try some new syrups syrups in the new year. I am definitely procrastinating so I don't want to crack on with work so I need to get going and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Right so I am ready to go now. I have brought out an old favourite from the archives. The fedoras are back. It is officially time and I'm wearing my favourite little Fairfax and Favour coat. I've got a really really cute little countryside outfit on. I am loving this. I've just got my little mulberry bag which is just my favourite handbag at the moment. Of course I've got my favourite duo boots on, a pair of leggings and my Fairfax and Favour coat ready for a little countryside outfit shoot in the beautiful Hampshire countryside. So let's get going. Well I think it is safe to say that the world's worst vlogger award goes to this gal. I've just been editing this video and completely forgot that I didn't even vlog when we were at Mottisfant. Didn't even sign off this video or show you anything that we were doing. We actually ended up having a really, really successful shoot whilst we were there. It was a little bit muddy and a little bit tricky to just kind of like navigate. So I felt like all of my concentration was going into shooting the outfits and just making sure that we were getting some really, really beautiful imagery. So I'm so sorry that I completely forgot to pick up the camera and to sign off the video, but you will already see some of the photos and videos going up on my Instagram. So make sure to go and head over there. I'm definitely wanting to make a few changes changes with regards to my Instagram this year and just incorporate a bit more personality and a little bit more of like my everyday life as much as I love doing my London shoots I love heading in I love doing like my big outfit shoots and things like that I love doing like my styling videos my reels and everything I am wanting to just do a little bit more like daily life because obviously I'm not in London every single day like it's not where I live anymore I live in the country I wear mostly countryside outfits I do a lot around my home so I'm wanting to incorporate more interior content more home content more like like styling and things like that so if there's anything in particular that you do want to see do let me know because I am all ears I'm coming up with lots of different ideas lots of different concepts I'm even 
trying to film more around different parts of the house because I feel like sometimes I stick far too much to this filming space but actually I can go in the bedroom I can go downstairs I can film in different sections and it's really really nice to do so I've been really enjoying getting back into the swing of things and creating some really beautiful content for you guys so make sure to head on over to my instagram let me know what you want to see and please be sure to give the last few pieces of content all of your love because it really really helps me out whenever you do that but i'm gonna leave this video here i really hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you're just as excited as i am about the continuation of the pandora ambassadorship of course you're going to be seeing all of the ways that i'm starting up my favorite pieces over the next few months and what I'm going to be wearing and adding into my collection. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next one. I hope you have the loveliest evening. Bye.